All right, so here is the situation. The start button, not working. Not turning on. So what we're gonna have to do is pull this back plate off and take a look and see what's going on. But before we do that, so we don't electrocute ourselves, let's unplug it. <laughs> Just set it down there. So first things first, we've got one, two, three, four screws that we got to undo. Okay, so these are Phillips head, or we could use a hex. So let's just use a Phillips head. We'll go ahead and just get them out of there. Put them on the top here. Last one. Yeah, done. All right, so now we can pull this off. So we got a, it lifts up and uh, has a ground on it here. It's kind of weird. But these slide in here like this. See that? You see that little thing right there? It slides in there. Right, so we got to pull that out. And we'll just let that sit down there. Now we got to get inside here and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, so this is all like electronic, but when you push on this, what's happening is it looks like it's not engaging. When I push it, it doesn't make contact with that plate. And if you notice, the button's not pushing all the way back up, so that means that that spring has lost a little bit of its uh, resiliency. To remove the start button, we've got to reach in there and squeeze those three little catches that go around the collar uh, to get it out. Right here, I've got to pop that back in order to pull this out. All right, so anyway, I've got a pair of needle nose. So I'm going to try to pop it out, the needle nose. This is starting to come out. You see how I've got it a little bit popped out? Let's see down here. Yep, I just now I got one of them. So I've got this one here moved. So now I've got to get that one over there to pop in, and then I should be able to pull it out. I don't know if you can see it. See how this one here, just got to get that one there. And then I think I can fix the switch. Now, if you're not, you may not be able to see what I'm doing, but just trying to, there we go. So now I got that one. I got one more on this side that I got to get. So I got to reach in to get it. I think I can push it with my finger. There we go. Got it. Damn, done. All right, so here's the button, and you see these little catches on it? So this is a good button, there's nothing wrong with it. And um, when you push it through the hole in front, which I'm gonna show you right now, right there, you push it through this hole here, these little things on the sidelines catch. So that's good. Now there's nothing wrong with this. You know, it's, uh, we just gotta make sure we get, I think we can clean that out a little bit, and I think we'll be able to use that. So this, when it went through, you can see how it sets on it. And, and it gives you this much room to push it down. Uh, process one, we got this thing off. That's good, right? Set that over there, let's not lose it. Now I think that this will just come out of here. So if you see right there, and this is stopping it. So to get it out, what you gotta do is push this over. Then you just twist it counterclockwise. You can see it here going clockwise, but that's the reverse image of it. And this, there should be a little snap on here. And it should just pop right out. And I do believe I got it both. Okay, that's it. So that came off. So these two little spots right here, they have a little thing that they slide into. These two things right here. Those slide right in there, right there. So the question is, do we need a whole new switch? Which I think we probably will need but I don't want to undo that. So we may have to order one online yeah, because it's all sealed up in there. So what we might have to do is pop these off, but I don't want to take these off until I get the new switch. So what we're going to do with this right now is we're going to leave it like this and we're going to order that, a new switch because I think that's going to be the easiest fix for this. And then we can just pop these babies off and bam, Bob's your uncle. All right, so we got a new part. Let's take a look at it. I mean, it looks exactly the same. I don't see too much of a difference on there. What do you guys think? See? Same thing. So what we want to do 
is um, we want, want to pull our contacts off and we want to put them on exactly the same way that we've got them on here. Okay, so we want to pull this off and then we want to put it on our new one. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and just kind of work it off like that. Then we're going to get our new one. We're going to put it on the exact same spot, the exact same spot right here. Just smush that on. Then we're going to pull this one off of here. Try not to break anything. Just like that. And then we're going to slip it right on there like this. Putting it on the exact same spot. There we go. All right, so now this is our new one. It's ready to go. Now all we got to do is <laughs> put it inside of here. <laughs> okay, so see this little lip right here? So I've got to set these inside there, and this has to be this way. All right, so I've got to turn it like this, okay? And I'm going to have to twist it because this has got to go through that little hole there. So when I pull this up, I'm going to turn it to the side like this. Let me see if you can see what I'm doing. Pull, see, I'm, I'm putting it like this, twisting it this way. And then I'm looking to see where from the inside here. Are you going to see this? You see how I've got to get that little thing right there on there? And then this one here is going to slide on there. So once I get it in there like this and I turn it, it's going to make a click noise. And then you can see on both, I'm, I'm connected on both spots there. So let's take a look over here. So if you see right there, and this is stopping it. So to get it out, what you got to do is push this over, and then you can twist it. But now this is locked in. And we've got, so to get it out, what you got to do is push this over, and then you can twist it. But now this is locked in. So to get it out, what you got to do is push this over, and then you can twist it. But now this is locked in. We've got all of our contacts on. All of our contacts on and we're good. So now all we got to do is we got to put our start button on. And you'll notice there's a flat side on it and there's a flat side on this. So you've got to get that flat side up like that, right? And then all I'm going to do is just push it and you're going to see these little things snap in. Bam, done. That's it. You can see, look, there we go. Now we've got, it's working. That's it. That's all we needed to do. And here's our old one. And we'll just set this one over here. So what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to just kind of slide it in here, over here, and over here for now. I'm not going to screw it in yet. I just want to get it in there just for, just for now. Because what I want to do is I'm going to plug this in. And then we're going to see if that's what our problem was with the switch. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug this in. All right, there we go. Now the question is, is this going to turn on? We're going to find out. Yep, it's working. That's the start button. All right, I guess we can go ahead and screw these back in now. You know what I mean? I don't think we need it. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably floating around in the glass. Um, well, it wasn't in there when I took it out. Oh, it worked right, so, the last time. Yeah, so it's working. Perfect. All right, so we did a good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to smush that too bad. Yeah, that, that's about as far as I can go with that. Because it's your, uh, your vent. I don't want to crush mm -hmm. the vent. All right, so anyway, it's running. That's what we wanted. And uh, what I didn't want to do is crush the vent when I pushed it back there. So that's why I did that. But it's definitely running. I don't know how to turn it off if you want to turn it off or stop it. Oh, that's it? What'd you do? Yeah, just open it and shut it. All right, hang on. You have to push the start button to start it. Let's just double check and make sure it's working, all right? Okay. So here's your start button, right? Mm -hmm. Don't have to push it hard. Bam. Now to turn it off, you just go like this. And this is all we need to straighten that out. Ah, there we go. All right. All right, I think we got a job well done. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos on stuff like this.